A rapidly growing technology company celebrated expansion into a new building. It's a sign of overall growth, especially by tech companies in the area. But why Center County? Our Evan Hinckley spoke with business owners and joined us now live with an answer. Evan? Good evening, John Amanda. State College has been named one of the top three tech hubs by state officials. They're competing with State College and Pittsburgh, and many feel this is thanks in part to a combination of both young, innovative minds here and also a community that many want to live in. Three, two, one. <laughs> Amidst the celebration of KCF Technologies' expansion, there's an underlying question. Why place your headquarters in downtown State College? I think it's really all about Penn State. The talent is constantly churning through a large university like this. Co-founder and CEO Jeremy Frank is fully aware that Nittany Lions dominate the workspace. I think we hired 120 people last year and more than half of our employees have a Penn State degree. But Center County Commissioner Mark Higgins says it's also about creating an infrastructure to sustain a business. Just because you have a fast-growing company that might hire a thousand people over a couple of year period, they've got to live somewhere. They, want to, they have to want to live here. There have to be good quality school districts for their children to go to. In a place like State College, that means accessible transportation and the ability to expand. Experts are optimistic tech companies will continue to grow in the area because where one business succeeds, others feel they can too. There's a magnetism to success when it comes to business. And when you're, especially in the tech arena, uh, they want to be by each other and actually feed off of each other in a very positive way. And again, I think it's a multiplying effect. And KCF currently has more than 200 employees, but they say over the next 10 years, they hope to have about 2,000. Reporting live here in State College, Evan Hinckley, WTAJ News.